has ever approached this throne with such advance notice. It is with slight regard and very little favor that your queen receives you on your return to Spain. You come back to us, notorious, of ill repute, disgraced in your own country and abroad. You have nothing to say? There seems to be very little left to say, Your Majesty. <laughs> Some men shut their eyes and free. Others open their eyes and hope. There's always been an imaginary woman in my life. Naturally, I searched for her in vain. I thought she could never exist except in my mind. Now I find she does. Have you forgotten to whom you are speaking? You may go, senor. I warned you, senor. This time I shall cut deeply. This time, I'm wearing my old clothes. Now you have grace and wit and daring. If you'd use these attributes in our cause, I'll set an example for all Spain. Heaven forbid. My dear friend, there's a little bit of Don Juan in every man. But since I am Don Juan, there must be more of it in me. You've been thinking behind my back. Whatever my behavior has been in the past or is going to be in the future, the Queen has absolutely nothing to do with it.